Hey, I'm Scythian, and welcome to another Deeper Network video. Today we're going over deeper security. How secure is the deeper device? Is my network safe? And what if someone connected to me has, you know, malicious intent? Uh, dark web traffic. First off, let's start with a brief background and explanation of the security features the deeper devices have to offer. The founder, CEO, and designer of the Deeper Network is Russell Liu. Prior to starting Deeper, Russell was a principal engineer at Palo Alto Networks and Fortinet, where he developed very advanced firewalls for enterprise use. In the cybersecurity world, he is among the best in the field. With Deeper Network, his goal was to create an enterprise-level cybersecurity device for home or office use as well as a decentralized internet to enhance privacy and create a fair and accessible environment for everyone, regardless of global location, and he did just that. He has created a device with a seven-layer enterprise-grade firewall, which meticulously scans each packet of data entering the network, known as DPI or Deep Packet Inspection, and it does this without diminishing your internet speed. This shields your network from numerous viruses and trojans, prevents malicious tracking, detects and prevents intrusions in the network, and brings a sense of safety when surfing the web. On top of that, it provides ad blocking, data tracker blocking, parental controls, and provides you with a global DVPN so that you choose the content you have access to while maintaining privacy online. So with all this security, do I still need any other security on my devices? It's always recommended that each device have its own security as an additional measure. It never hurts to be too safe. Plus, I feel good knowing that other cybersecurity experts have tried to penetrate it and all have failed. So why do I need good cybersecurity or a DPN on my home network? This is a topic that could be an entire video on its own and everyone will have their own reasons for needing or using these services. In today's age, data privacy has been a pretty hot topic, and a big one for a lot of people is protecting their personal info from ad trackers. These companies sell your info and searches to cater specific ads to you. Another benefit is protecting yourself from identity theft or ransomware, and blocking all those pesky ads with YouTube ad blocking coming soon. With all this privacy, what stops someone from using my network for malicious activities? Well, even though the device is private, it's not anonymous. Each device logs the connections locally. These logs serve as proof that a person connected to your IP committed that search and not you. There are timestamps displayed as well as the last five digits of the IP addresses. This is to protect everyone's privacy from the nodes you connect to, but to still ensure safe searching. On top of all that, law enforcement does have the ability to differentiate between packets that come from your network versus packets that were routed through your network. So in most cases, you'll likely never know or hear anything from law enforcement in this regard. This device is as safe as it gets for network security and DPN and I have yet to find anything this plug-and-play that beats it. Not to mention the savings. A decent VPN is $20 a month, and a good cybersecurity system can cost you a pretty penny, ranging from $1,000 to $10,000 for a device. So to pack all this into a tiny device at a fraction of the cost is just incredible. Hopefully this video helped you to better understand the security features and the safety of the device. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join us in the Discord or Telegram chat for any questions, or if you just want to be part of the community, links in the description down below. Until next time, keep your data safe, and I'll see you in the next video.